Salut! Hey guys, today I'm gonna tell you the two French Canadian shows you should start watching because they are so hilarious. We're also going to talk a little bit about the culture of Quebec TV and things you should expect when you're watching a French show from Quebec, Canada. Salut! My name is Rochelle DeMeo from Beltier Academy. So this first show that's very popular, and that's actually it's popular in France, but it's also popular in Quebec, Canada, is called Un gars une fille, you can see it behind me. So in France there's a whole show called Un gars une fille, and in Quebec there's also an entire show called Un gars une fille, and it's pre pretty much a couple that just go through everyday life and they do things in a very funny and humorous way over exaggerating different situations of everyday life. <laughs> oh, we're not married yet. Well, it's just like that. So, Jean-Marie, you work together, is that right? Yes, that's right. You're moving something, no? We're trying to choose, no? Yes, that's right. Jean-Marie, you tell us your super virils every time he goes to Montreal. It's nice, right? Yes. Oui, ouais. ben en fait c'est pas exactement avec moi que j'en travaille, c'est avec ma collaboratrice Geneviève. C'est qui ça Geneviève là mmh, mmh. Je t'en ai jamais parlé Bah non, non, tu jamais parlé. Non. And while both the French and the Québécois kind of argue on who started the show first, rumor has it that the Québécois actually started the show. And the one that I'm showing you guys is actually a combination of the French Ungain Fee and the Canadian Ungain Fee doing a show together. It is hilarious and definitely entertaining. Bonjour mon bon monsieur, bonjour ma petite madame, vous allez bien? Êtes-vous tanné des vieux partis? Oui, puis on commence à être pas mal tanné des nouveaux aussi. <laughs> the second show is called Tête à claque. Think of Tête à claque as kind of knucklehead, it's kind of like just a head that you just want to slap. Clac. And if you can see these bobbly little figures and their eyes, and they are just little short clips of, again, things that are just exaggerated and that they make fun of. So it's something that's kind of short and sweet, but that is typical from Quebec, Canada. They have different scenarios showing almost everyday life, things that happen there, so you learn some of the culture as well as different language. I hope you had an opportunity to watch the video that I did with my friend Andrian, who gave us all this different vocabulary from Quebec, Canada, and things that they use every day. She also pointed out why a lot of the cuss words refer to Catholic terms and the history behind it. It's very interesting. Make sure you check it out if you didn't. In our classes, actually, at Beltier Academy, we've been looking at weekly exploring virtually different parts of the French-speaking world. So last week we looked at Morocco. We planned an entire trip there and the different activities that we were going to do and the palaces we were going to visit. And then this week, following along the lines of having Andrienne in our classroom, we decided to explore Quebec, Canada and look at the different activities that we could do that, do there. The history is so rich as well. So by watching some shows, some TV shows from Quebec, Canada, you're learning some of the history, some of the French heritage, and maybe you'll understand the accent better than I do as a French native. Je ne sais pas. Guy m'a juré que non. Et tu me crois? Cinq sur dix. Jean, je vais dire, je suis désolé, parce que je, Geneviève m'avait pas pris. Ah, je sais bien, mais là, là, je vais me faire engueuler, là, là, je vais morfler. All right, three things to know about TV shows in Quebec, Canada. The first thing is if you've learned French from France or possibly different speak French-speaking country, you might notice that the accent is significantly different. Even while like the Swiss have an accent, Belgians have an accent, different accents exist throughout the very vast French-speaking world. It's true that in Quebec, Canada, it's very, very different. C'est comme un vêtement que tu portes, tu sais, c'est plus que ça, c'est comme le prolongement de ton aura. Hey, on t'a-tu déjà dit que tu ressemblais à Tom Cruise, toi? Non. Non, c'est jamais arrivé. 
So first thing that you want to know is that there are many words that are unique to Quebec Canada. While there are other words that they've adopted, there are some words that are specifically from Quebec Canada that you should just learn or that you get to learn. It's because we're on the chasse, the rignal, the gros. It's happened to us that we've seen one sometimes. No, wait, wait, wait. Where is it? Where is it? The second thing is that many French words from Quebec Canada are anglicisms. Now you might say, hey Rochelle, don't they do that in France as well? Yes, they do. We adopt a lot of English words into the French language. However, in Quebec Canada, they're not always the same words. For instance, they might say parquer la voiture, to park the car, whereas in France, we wouldn't say that. So some of the words, anglicisms that we've adopted from France are different than the anglicisms adopted in Quebec Canada. And actually, from what I hear, it sounds more American when they pronounce it than it would French. Whereas in France, when they adopt different English words, they kind of put a little twist to it so it sounds French. So when you're hearing these English sounding words in Quebec Canada, remember that these words are anglicisms that have been adopted into the language everyday language of Quebec Canada. And actually some of the words are completely English words. They're not even anglicisms or words that they've possibly changed in some way, shape or form. They are just English words that they use with a little spin to it. Oh boy, qu'est-ce que ça peut bien être ça? Hmm. Oh, oh, des semelles, odeur destroyer. Si, je suis à côté du feca. And then thirdly, a lot of Quebec French words are actually old French words. So they're words that we used to use back in the day in France, but that are no longer used. Un chant, c'est la même chose. Hey, tu, tu, tu conduis tellement mal là, que je pense que le bébé veut sortir juste pour débarquer de char. <laughs> non, non, non. Ça, c'est pour mettre dans tes souliers. So again, from that um, vi video that I did with Andréanne, you probably learned some of them, like, but like words like soulier ou chandail, we used that centuries ago, but in Quebec, Canada, they kind of stuck and they still use those. So I'm not gonna lie, sometimes amongst French, we kind of laugh about that because we're like, man. And one of the jokes that I had with a friend of mine who came and spent three months here, we were talking about the differences between like the French um, from Quebec and the French from France. And I was just said something like, ah, je kiffe la sikmu. And she was like, what? It means like, I like music, but it's a French slang. And you know, the French more fast paced with adopting some of this newer slang. And when I explained it to her and she kind of looked at me, I said, oh, don't worry, you'll adopt that in a hundred years. So we kind of laugh about that from the French from Quebec, France, and the French from um, France, because they still use this old French vocabulary as everyday language in the 21st century. So those are the three things that you want to know when you're watching TV shows from Quebec, Canada. I encourage you to check these out just for a good laugh. You'll learn some new vocabulary. You'll definitely discover some of the culture. You'll work on a different kind of listening comprehension skills. Maybe you'll even learn their pronunciation. Why not? A bientôt les amis.